All right, today we're going to be doing a reaction video for Spook and Jukes rant Dead by Daylight is dying. All right, let's get into this video. I really hate to say it, but I think we all know it's true at this point. Dead by Daylight is not in a good place, mm -hmm. and I think it comes down it hasn't to been in a good place for a while. So let's talk about it. Reason number 1 is hackers. Because although Behavior yep. has been banning tens of thousands of hackers, and they've also made it to where hackers can no longer hold people hostage in games anymore, mm -hmm. which was a huge uh, problem a few months back, they are still able to easily go in and get people's IP address. The team has been actively investigating reports of distributed denial of services, EDOS, happening over the weekend to prominent streamers in our community. Okay, so it it is hacking in a way, but it's... I don't think you have to actually play the game for that to happen. That's, I'm pretty sure, a problem from behavior side. Uh, not hiding the IP addresses well enough. I don't know how that crap works, so I have no idea. But I'm, I know that you don't have to be in the game to do a DDoS attack. Addresses and DDoS them. or mm -hmm. tank I know that the person doing the DDoS doesn't have to be in the game. Of course, you have to be in the game to get DDoSed. Their internet, essentially. Mm -hmm. This has primarily been happening to... Uh, PSA for DVD streamers. The current DDoS attacks are seemingly strong enough to work through VPNs. Imagine buying a VPN and it not working. That sucks. <laughs> Even though they seemingly get your IP through DVD, they can still target you outside of it, or even if you're off stream. Oh, that's, that's actually even worse. So not only can you be DDoSed playing the game, but once they get the IP, they can do it anytime they fucking want to. That actually sucks until you change your IP again. So you'd have to change it. Okay, well, hopefully. Oh my God. These people are so petty that they DDoS players in a custom game I was spectating. I wasn't even in their lobby. They can seemingly look up names and target anyone they want. Wow. If you still want to stream DVD, use a new or obscured alt account and hide all of your names, anyone you play with. Use a VPN free trial if you must, so they hopefully don't obtain your actual IP. That's crazy. As for non-streamers, you're probably safe because these people are only targeting live streamers. If you're still concerned, stay away from DVD until Behavior makes a statement or the DDoSes get bored again. You have to hide the people inside the game too. That also sucks. Streamers, obviously, because the hackers want attention. Yeah. But it can happen to anybody. Yeah. The looks of it, they can just look at a lobby with your username and just figure out where you are and completely shut your internet off. Dead by Daylight is crazy. clearly not a safe place to be, especially if you stream the game. Hackers mm -hmm. have also been targeting people in other ways. Myself, I've had the same hacker stalking me for a year, and what they do is they wait till I go live, then they log on to a PC account with a Prestige 100 Bubba, and they start hacking, flying around, instantly killing people. And then in the That's end, crazy. Yeah, they tell people to kill themselves and say that they like little kids, among other things. So then people will come to my chat and uh, say, you know, I'm reporting you, you're a cheater. They do it so people will come and accuse me of cheating and that it causes a big ruckus during my stream. So people will accuse me of not only cheating, but saying really terrible things to people. Obviously, there's That's not much crazy. I can do about this. I just have to say, no, hey, they, they... I play on PlayStation. Yeah. And yeah, that wasn't me. You can look at the VOD and yeah. Yeah, that, that's about all I can do. The second... It's crazy to think that someone would actually go live, cheat and call people names and somehow still be able to live stream the game. Like I like if that was if it was my stream, the second I saw a message like that, the person that sent the message is going to get instantly banned because you can take the time to instantly accuse me of cheating, whatever else in the end game chat. But you can't take the time to simply look up or click back in a video of my past live streams. You know what I mean? So instantly you'd get banned in my chat. That is crazy. He's been doing that for a year and he's still doing it. That is insane to me. Imagine how pathetic your life would have to be to even do that in the first place. You know what I mean? The reason Dead by Daylight is in a really bad place right now is because the new content they've been releasing is complete and utter shit. Yeah, I hear that's first, pretty trash. The knight, who is this super cool, badass, medieval knight mm -hmm. who... I, I, wish, I wish the knight was like... Like a death knight or paladin type killer. I don't, I did not want, like, it's cool that he, like, summons whatever the hell he, I don't play Dead by Daylight anymore, but it's my most played game on my Steam so far. But I wish that he, I, I probably a death knight kind of thing. I wish he would have done something 
with spells and casting and shit, but that's probably just my World of Warcraft stuff kicking in. But it would have been so much more cooler than what it is now. Who zones people. Yeah. Puts down guards and just makes them run away. That's what that's what the knight does. Mm -hmm. Not to mention the map that he came with is also shit. I don't play Devil anymore. I can't comment on this either. Is. I always forget. I actually forget that the map <sighs> like even exists totem. until I randomly uh, get Oh, he has map. a... Uh, he has a book in rotation because nobody uses the map offering at least not that i see i'll mm -hmm. randomly appear on that map and i'll go oh wow i forgot that this garbage exists he does have a decent mori Fair. though so i'll give him that i don't, I don't know what the mori the is skull merchant most of you know how i feel about the skull merchant it's the mm -hmm. same way most people feel about the skull merchant uh, uh, here's trash get this really awesome badass side that actually looks a lot better than what the Skull Merchant actually is. I bored killer. Yeah. And what do we get? Another that, fucking zoning. Yeah. This trash right here. Boring. Killer. Another killer that places something down that has a big radius and a big zone that you just Boring. Have to run out of. And mm -hmm. just, again, hold forward. Mm -hmm. Hold forward or you die. I feel like they got this idea from True Talent because in a video that I watched, I don't know how long ago it was, he talks about how survivors can get a lot of. I'm not going to say momentum, but he can, they can get a lot of whatever he said, I forget. Um, I'm going to just say a benefit is what I'm going to say, but that's not what he said. A huge benefit from just holding the W while the killer's like breaking your pallet, hitting a gen, uh, placing, I don't know, traps down, something like that. Just hold W, just go straight forward, and you get like X amount of seconds added to the chase, all because you just hold forward, something like that. Somewhere along the lines of that. So... I'm pretty sure, I would assume, I, uh, it's safe to assume, I would assume, <laughs> assuming on top of this, assuming, anyway, I would assume that they most likely got this idea from True Talent, because I'm pretty sure that the devs still listen to True Talent, and they just do the opposite of what that man says. <laughs> I'm, I'm like 90% sure on that, but I, I can't confirm it, so, but uh, there's a lot of events that happen where everything that True Talent has said they've implemented in some way and it's trash or they completely ignore it and go the other direction <laughs> so die and guess what when it gets to three gens left you just, just zone it down your drones yeah. on the gens and that's like that's like trapper in a way but with trapper it's it's more fun with trapper you know trapper i love playing trapper trapper is my main i am a trapper main i love the satisfaction of putting down a trap and the survivor just somehow getting caught in it even though I'm across the map, I can't really get to that survivor. But it's fun to just stop, turn around, call that person an idiot, and then keep running. <laughs> you know? It's just fun. <laughs> just with night, when there's a three gen... Yes, I get I get satisfaction out of small things. That's why I like playing Trapper. It is what it is. It's fun. You just can place your fucking knights mm. to guard the gens. It's so fun. Boring. It's such a good time. One hey, redeeming yo. factor about these two chapters is the survivors. I think that Vittorio is really cool. Ooh, I also I like think that... Ooh. Look at that man, oh my god. I don't know who that man is, but I like the way he looks. He got some like shiny thing on his neck right there. Talitha mm. and Hanatu are- We got some hippies, also that's okay. Really cool. It is what so it is. So the survivors <laughs> are cool, I like them. But All the right. killers, complete ass. I think it's also okay. the fact that Fair. it was back to back. I mean, people wait three months for new content in this game. Mm -hmm. So you just, you wait three months and you get the night and you're like, ugh. And then you wait three more months and you're like, all right. And then you get the skull merchant and you're like, ugh. They both feel Fair. lazy and uninspired. Luckily, the next chapter will be during Dead by Daylight's anniversary, which they usually reveal something big and cool. It's usually a licensed chapter, so fingers crossed we get some sort of saving grace. I really hope it's not a third Resident Evil chapter. I know there's... <laughs> there's a good chance it might be. Lots of Resident Evil fans who play the game, and yeah. I think Resident Evil's cool, but... Yeah, I agree with the... Like... I can understand some things being in the game, but like... Do we have to put Wesker in the game? Like, he's not even scary, bro. <laughs> For the love of God, something new. Yeah, please. I, please. I don't want... What's the other Resident Evil guy? I don't even know who the other Resident Evil guy is. Oh, it's that big tall guy that looks like Thanos. That guy I can see maybe being in the game, but like Rexker, like, who, who the fuck cares? <laughs> I, I, maybe it's just me. Uh, you know what? Fuck me. But you know, just please. No. Something new. I don't want Resident Evil Chapter 3. But hey, you know what? True. Even if it is a third Resident Evil Chapter... You know what? I say instead of putting a popular character, you put the Chainsaw guy in there. You know, they take... I'm pretty sure. I don't know if this is true. But I'm pretty sure they're taking out Leatherface. Just be like, hey, can we just borrow a... The chainsaw, you know, the guy with the bag, he has a bag on his head, he has like one eye, 
little hole right there and he has a chainsaw use that guy but don't make it Leatherface, obviously. Make it something else. Make it something cool. Do it that way. There you go. <laughs> Still probably be better than the two dumpster fires we just got. Mm -hmm. Reason number three, this game is dying and in a terrible place. It's a big shocker. It's the player base. True. 100% true. I've been saying this for years. It's the community. Yes. I still to this day cannot believe the amount of whiny, truly grown, tantrum throwing adult true. dollars that play this game. True. If it's not people in the end game chat blowing up at people, calling them names or slurs or threatening mm. them, or people on their streams pulling up other Discord profiles and Twitch accounts, shaming them for their viewers. Holy or crap. That's people actually, well, I can understand why people do that, but like, holy crap. That's, that's low, bro. <laughs> pulling up others, people's streams just to, just to downgrade them even further, even though you at some point were already there. That's just, that's a low blow, bro. <laughs> Some way, it's people on Twitter. It's a, it's people. Well, Twitter, Twitter's Twitter. Twitter's fucking crazy. <laughs> on Twitter, just posting screenshots of end game chats or yeah. pictures of, of them getting slugged on the ground and just wah wah boo hoo. My fucking life is over. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. God <laughs> help me. Some of True. you really need to take a long, hard look in the mirror and get your shit together. True. Someone just sent me a clip of a TTV that told another TTV to kill themselves. Oh. Because the killer camped. When all the gens were done. <laughs> yeah. That, that's actually the next. No, did he? No, why would he do that? Video that I'm posting after this one. So. Oh, yeah. no, we have to if watch your that. the idea of fun revolves solely around how other people play, I I've got a news flash for you. You mm. need to take your PC or your console. In and the trash. In the fucking trash. Yeah, can. put it in the dumpster, bro. You don't deserve that shit. <laughs> Because that's not how games That's work. not how it works, it's no. Not how the world works. No. It's perfectly okay to not like certain playstyles or certain yeah. killers or certain perks. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that no. at all. But and as, as a streamer, you should expect that to happen even more. Let me tell you guys something that I used to do. I don't even care. I'd still do it if I could to this day. Back when Mori's were good, we just had to, I think you just had to hook the survivor one time and that was it. What I would do is anytime I seen a person with TTV in their name, which is probably why this, this perk got changed, by the way, a TTV in their name, I would target that guy, Mori that guy, and that'd be it. GG no re. You know what I'm saying? The reason I did that is because I knew it was 100% an easy win because the second that TTV person died in the game, his other three partners would instantly leave and I would win. So to me, playing a competitive game, that was a competitive advantage that I had. It is not my fault you put TTV in your name. I don't know who you're advertising to because you're playing with, you know, three other people that are in your party. So I have no idea why you have TTV in your name in the first place because you're not playing solo. You're playing with three other people as, as, as friends. So you're advertising to me. I don't really care. I'm a killer. I'm going to kill you. I don't care what your stream is. I'm here to play the game. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't care. <laughs> so, and it was fun as fuck. It was fun as hell, and I don't care. I don't even care if it was toxic. Like I said, I was playing a competitive game. It was a competitive advantage. Not my fault. Go to the next fucking match. True. You don't have to, don't have to just just dig into them and. No, you don't have to just like they do that at the end of the at the end of the game too. Where I would actually more the person, and then they all leave, and then they all shit talk me at the end game chat, and it's like. It's not my fault. Like, I tell them, like, it's not my fault. You have TTV. I ex explained it exactly how I explained it just now. It's not my fault. You have TTV in your name. I play multiple games where every time I'm more with the TTV guy, the TTV guy is dead. The rest of the people leave. That's an easy win for me. It is not my fault. <laughs> like, it is what it is. And they still just trash talk me. I didn't really care. I had fun. Fucking insult them and take screenshots and post it on yeah. Twitter. And post I don't. I don't think anyone's taking a screenshot of me because I don't think that was. I don't think that was a thing back when I was doing that. Fucking clips of. Look at this fucking person. Person slugging me. I can't believe it. They must be banned. It's absolutely. <laughs> annoying. And you want to know the saddest part is that I believe that reason one and two can actually be fixed. Like, yeah. I think that behavior can solve the hacking issue. They've already been it working could, on it. Yeah. I think that they can make their game more secure, and I hope that they mm -hmm. will. I think, I straight up think, and many other people think the same thing. I straight up think that behavior has to put a halt on the content and focus solely on 
the core of the game. At some point, they have to do this because if they don't, the game's going to start getting more and more shit. The reason why they're going in the direction that they're going is because marketing, one, of course, people want to make money. Marketing, one. Two, they want to get as much money as they possibly can from each killer that they release. So if they release shitty killers, they really don't care because we're going to buy them anyway, which is why they put in the skill-based matchmaking system is to keep the people that are shit at the game in the little shit corner and still spend money thinking that they're good at the game. But everybody else past that skill level that actually wants to play the game and want to take it se well, seriously to a degree because it is a competitive, it's supposed to be a competitive game. I don't even know what way they're going anymore because they said it was competitive, then they went casual. Now it's like you put in skill-based matchmaking, so now it's competitive again. I, I really don't understand the concept of the game at all, period. <laughs> I liked it better when it was more casual and it's like, you had to like fill up a bar to rank up. You just go in the game, collect blood points, fill up a bar, and that bar would count towards your pip. If you got enough blood points, here's your pip. Next game, you know? Simple and easy, I loved it. Now they got like three, they got like three ranking systems in the game. Two now, because one of them doesn't even do anything. They got like two, and it's like, what? what is this nonsense? <laughs> like, what are you trying to do here? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, anyway. And I also think that they can make better chapters. I think Again, they can if they stop recycling content, let me show you a video. I have this already ready. Okay. They have been recycling content for months. Perks mostly. People are now starting to realize that the content is being recycled. I already knew it was being recycled way fucking before this. Because you'd have perks that are exactly similar to another perk. But the perk that they released on the killer, the new killer by the way, sucks so you might as well just use the original perk that was supposed to be already in that was already in the game this is one of the things where it's like a rethink Mori, but like, no it just seems like based on what happens and the first time experiencing it you're kind of just left with just like it's a reskin it? that's all we got you know a lot of people are saying it's a reskinned yeah it's a reskin ready but we don't have to have a new map every single time a chapter comes out we already have plenty of maps as it is uh, but they mm -hmm. repurpose yeah, here's the Mori right here and added a main building or I guess a main area because the building, the structure itself is, is not that huge. Uh, but they Boom. repurposed that and they, they switched some things around in the map. Yeah, like that's that's literally a reskinned shitty Mori. Why is the guy pretending he doesn't know where the killer is when the killer like doesn't make any sense? You know what I mean? That's basically a reskin of Freddy. Now, at some point, he's supposed to talk about a perk. I just forget where the heck it was. The killer should have just been left like this. A robotic death freaking person but they slap some other crap on it and it's like why you should have just left it like this you should have just made it look a, like a badass robotic character that maybe someone tried to rebuild uh, and reconstruct your life into it i don't know <laughs> i can't i can't find it it's been i don't know how many minutes but i literally can't find it but at some point he talks about the content being recycled again but it's it's way more obvious in this chapter than it was in other chapters, but I've already seen it in other chapters. I actually made a comment on this video two weeks ago. I forgot I had this one, but anyway, two weeks ago, I left a comment and I said, I can tell just when you're talking about this chapter that a lot of things used for it is from old content thrown together and then released, which is what it is. You know, they have the same, it's the map. All they did was just put a little structure in there. He talks about the perks from before, which I told you that are similar to other, well, he tells you too, they're similar to other perks. And usually the older perks are better than the newer perks. It's just something that they once again just rushed and threw in there. Yeah, like you, you, you this one definitely stands out with re-releasing content. I understand that other companies also re-release content, but other companies, I can't say they really put more effort into it because some of them don't, like they really don't. But like when you have two of the same style killers back to back, and you know what? The first one sucked. So you just put out a second one just because. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. I say right around Ghostface. Is when I started to notice the re-release of, of just the same crap over and over again. However, you could say maybe Spirit. But Spirit has its own taste. These other two kind of have their own taste. But Ghostface is just a shittier version of Michael Myers. Like, it is what it is. So I, I'm pretty sure that around this time... Is when I started to notice that they actually kind of used reused content again because he plays basically the same way as Michael Myers, but Michael Myers is just better than Ghostface. 
Uh, and then I can't compare this to something other than Hillbilly. Then you got Huntress. Then you got maybe Doctor, but well, Doctor in a way because he lifts his sword up to attack you. Where it's the same thing with Doctor, where he shocks you to attack you, but he injures on the attack, and Doctor doesn't. This one is this one was actually interesting. I like that one a lot. This one was also interesting. This is Huntress. A shitty version of Huntress. This, what was this? I think that was somewhat kind of new. This was somewhat kind of new. This was basically a remake, but a shittier version of this style. And Sudo Sudoku is just Freddy. Uh, I, th I actually like the way she plays. She's actually, I don't, I don't like, uh, Sudoku can piss off. <laughs> I don't like her at all. And then they had him which is basically almost the same style as this guy to a degree i think i haven't actually played wesker so i don't actually 100 percent know if he plays no he doesn't he he like dashes forward he makes a little dash so i take that back and then these two are the same because you know whatever it's not just the killers that i noticed either i noticed it with the killers first how they were just taking the similar ideas of other killers they already made and just re-releasing it as a, a new killer but the perks too like the perks after i don't even i don't even know where there's so many damn perks in this game i don't even know where to start with the perks i have to like i have to install the game and then launch the game just to figure out what i have to like write everything down <laughs> as to where i saw specific things happening it, it was the the perks were just old perks were taken redesigned renamed little bit of a twist to them and then re-released again it's just the same content over and over and over again and you have so many perks that do like pretty much similar to what other perks do that should just be deleted and just work on the original perk but they're not going to do that because blood points because people just love blood points for the love of god god forbid there's literally zero to little effort going into each expansion which is why after sudoku i stopped purchasing expansions to be honest, <laughs> I I purchased them and didn't even play them, to be honest. Uh, she I played because I found her to be a bit interesting with the going through the TVs. And I kind of just wanted to scare people, which you can tell what, by the way they move their mouse. Their character kind of like their character kind of moves a little bit in a way, which is funny as hell to me. <laughs> so that's why I did that. It was all the same reason why I like playing Michael Myers. But that's the only reason I bought the character. Other than that, I didn't really play any of these characters. I just mostly played Trapper. Trapper's my boy. Trapper's my bae. Let's go back to the original video now. I wasted so much time on that crap. <laughs> Releasing killers and survivors and maps that are really fun mm -hmm. and new perks and stuff like that. I think those two things can be fixed. Yeah. But I don't think Reason 3 mm -hmm. can be fixed. I, I... Uh, can Reason 3 be fixed? I think... That if the Debs, <sighs> the reason why Reason Three is happening, is because the Debs cater to one side, and you can clearly tell that they do. You can say that they don't all you fucking want. I'm not gonna change my mind on this. They cater to one side, and that one side knows that they can get away with a lot of shit. They know that they can, and that's why they do it. All right. So in order to fix a little bit of that, one. You have to act right away on when someone steps out of line, no matter what side it is. Okay, let's not talk about sides. It's the community as a whole, all right? Let's, talk, let's, let's take away sides for a second. You have to start acting, like, right away. You can put as much filters as you want. You can protect as much as you want. But at the end of the day, if you're not actually taking the time to do something about the certain situations that pop up, people are going to take advantage of that hardcore. It's like the stupid hackers where there was hackers. They didn't do nothing about it for X amount of months. And then all of a sudden, boom, the hackers are somewhat kind of gone, but not really. Then they moved over to DDoSing and now we have this problem and you don't want to take the time to, you keep releasing content, but you won't fix the fucking issue. The main issue, the community can be fixed, but it's going to take some time and you have to act right away and you have to stop catering to the one side because that's what it is. They bitch and moan to you, so you just lay down in front of them, and you just take it because you don't want to deal with it. That's what the issue is, and that's how that's how that side is controlling you. Behavior. Twitter. Every time I check my emails and see what people have sent me and the experiences they've had with players in this game, mm -hmm. it just it just reminds me that this shit 
is never going to change. No. Nope. And you know what? It's a shame. It could, because but I hope, if the I hope it does. If wasn't so elitist and standoffish mm -hmm. and entitled, mm -hmm. I think that the player base would be much higher. I think more would. people would stick around. Yes. But people load in and they start playing a match as killer or even survivor and they just have people fucking screaming at them, taking True. their information and putting it on Twitter, taking their information and putting it on their, on their fucking stream to shame mm -hmm. them for what they did, how they played the game. Yep. It is pure insanity. And the fact that some of you can't realize the way that you're acting and how absolutely absurd it is. Mm -hmm. It's it's scary. It's fucking scary that you guys don't see what the hell you're fucking doing. I have mostly one side. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna stop ranting. Mm -hmm. Dark times and Dead by Daylight again. Dark times again in in Dead by Daylight. <laughs> Let's hope it gets better. Yeah. Anyway, I I also hope the game gets better because this would 100% be my most played game on my channel because i love this game i absolutely love this game i had i have 1800 hours the last time i played it was not february 7th i forget when i played it last somewhere around the release of sudoku but meh anyway uh but i love this game a lot and i'd play this game 110 percent the texas chainsaw massacre game coming out august i think i said august 3rd august 13th august 23rd something like that there's a three in there somewhere <laughs> i'm pretty sure sometime in august of this year ah i hope that game's good because I'm, I'm craving for something like this and all games at some point have to have a good competitor a, a, a real good competitor and i'm hoping that Although it might not happen, but there's hope, you know, there's hope. I'm hoping that the Texas Chainsaw game will incentivize Dead by Daylight that they're not the alpha in this gaming genre thing that they got going on anymore. I don't know. I just wish that the game was good. I just wish the game was fun to play and it's it's trash. It's absolute trash. Maybe I'll go through and just talk about Dead by Daylight and then hopefully at some point Dead by Daylight will get better again, but I doubt it. <laughs> To be honest, watching too many Dead by Daylight videos gets me wanting to play Dead by Daylight again, but I'm trying to avoid it at all costs because I know that once I get into there, it's going to be so fucking toxic. It's going to be crazy as hell. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.